An individual could tell lies to people and go away with it. An organization could tell lies to people, they will go away with it. But when a nation tells lies to her citizens and also to the global community, it will bring a bad reputation not just only to the name of the nation but also to her citizens. That is the situation of Nigeria. Nigeria has kept series of records of lying to the global community. Most of the things that Nigerian used to tell the world, they have discovered that they are not always true. Now, recently, you must have seen a video on AIT television when they were interviewing an officials of the Interpol about the involvement of how they aided the Muhammadu Buhari administration in arresting and bringing back Enam de Kano to Nigeria. Now, the government, through their spokesperson and also the Minister of Information, Laya Mohamed Den, told the global community categorically that the Interpol aided them to arrest Enam de Kano. But on the AIT news, the officials of the Interpol just denied it and said there is nothing like that, that they don't even know anything that happened in Kenya that led to the kidnap and the bringing back of Enam de Kano to Nigeria. The AIG, there are not a few who believe that the pace as, at which the Interpol International and Interpol Nigeria are working is uh, quite interesting. They point to the fact that uh, Nnamdi Kanu, the leader of the proscribed group, IPO, he didn't, he didn't take long for them to grab him from the same Kenya and get him down to Nigeria. And he's facing justice now. That's why is it like a case of we are, we are following process, diplomatic channels, etc., etc. Uh, uh, believe you me, I want to tell you I don't know what you are talking about. All I because know... You seem, you seem not to know exactly what we are talking about here. No, 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 no. no you are bringing an issue that Interpol is not aware of. You know, let me define the role of Interpol so that you can understand. Interpol is an international police organization that assists law enforcement agencies mm. within the 196 countries yes, to look for a fugitive that runs or is hiding. Mm. And if you look at the other, all the other fugitives that are brought to face justice in Nigeria, they have the link, those who are involved with Interpol. Mm. So I don't know any, I don't want to talk about issue of Kanu who brought him back to Nigeria. I'm not aware how he was brought back to Nigeria or how he came into Nigeria, Interpol is not aware. We stated this long time ago mm. and we made it categorically clear. So don't, um, it's not a question. There are what we call police to police relationship, international police cooperation. Another okay. police, it does not necessarily bring Interpol. Okay. If one police and another exchange a suspect is running from them, they can have an international police cooperation. That out of the scope of Interpol. Okay. However, if a notice is given to an individual, like blue notices, when this, um, uh, the inmates in Kujia prison escaped, yes. we did a biometric capture of those suspects, and we shared it with international communities. Mm. We shared it with our law enforcement agencies. Many of them were really apprehended because we have their biometrics. Mm. Now, in the issue of red notice, where a red notice is issued under the federal court that issued that notice of arrest, that is warrant of arrest for such international. Yes. It will go to the Interpol, we'll process it, we'll look at it, we'll look at the charges, and okay. then we'll issue a red notice. Okay. On that red notice, we bring back the culprit to face justice, justice. because all the 196 <laughs> countries will be looking for that individual. Mm. We would also like to thank you, uh, retired Assistant Inspector General of Police, Gaduba Uma, who is currently the Vice President of Interpol Africa Region. Thank you, sir, for coming on the news hour. Thank you for having me.